The number of people contracting nasty stomach bugs in Auckland is spiking after every storm, prompting health authorities to look at whether the city's sewage system is making people sick. Real pressures on stormwater in some parts of Auckland. The alarming new figures come from the Auckland Regional Public Health Service, which has now launched a study into why it's seeing increases in diseases like cryptosporidium and certain types of E. coli. Rowan Quinn reports. Toilet paper, condoms and tampons regularly wash up along Miola Creek, which winds from Mount Albert to the sea at Point Chevalier. It's one of the outlets designed to serve as a wastewater overflow in heavy rain, meaning raw sewage flows into the creek along with the stormwater and out to sea. Auckland's Medical Officer of Health, David Sinclair, is leading the investigation into whether such overflows could be making people sick. Typically we would get notified uh, of sort of 60 to 75 cases a week, but um, in the couple of uh, weeks after some of the storms, that could be sort of um, 80 plus. Those numbers are likely to be the tip of the iceberg, though. Dr Sinclair says the figures are only from specimens analysed in labs. Most people with gastro symptoms don't see their GP, and even fewer would submit a sample for analysis. But he says there are some very unpleasant illnesses in the statistics. Cryptosporidium gives uh, abdominal pain, uh, vomiting, diarrhoea, and can be quite debilitating sometimes for maybe a couple of weeks. The more serious one is the VTEC, STEC one, which uh, can lead to some very severe complications, bleeding with the diarrhoea and very uncommonly but very severely uh, a few people can get uh, kidney failure from it. Dr Sinclair stresses he's keeping an open mind about what's behind the spike, saying there are some inconsistencies like no peaks in the waterborne disease Giardia. But he says the sewage overflows have long been a worry for the public health service. The Auckland Council says it always has public safety in mind and advises people to keep away from wastewater outfalls and stream mouths for 48 hours after heavy rain. The Roy Clements Treeway runs next to Meola Creek at St Luke's. It has overflows almost twice a week some years. And while there are permanent warning signs saying to keep out of the water, most of these regular walkers didn't know about the frequent overflows. Some people like swimming it. I'm not very happy about the thought of sewerage being going up and down the creek. Every time I walk through here, there seems to be a different colour within the water. If it's causing illness within the community, it's not a good thing, obviously. I think it's kind of disgusting. The research is in its very early stages and will be done in conjunction with the Auckland Council, Watercare, Niwa and Auckland University. Itamaki Makoto, Ko Rowan Quintene.